Bryce is onto a good fish. Trout. Is it? Oh. Yeah, it's a monster trout. Yes, it's a monster trout. It's the size of a trout. All right, let's measure him. Oh, yeah. I want him. Another big trout. Yeah. <laughs> We've been out here for 22 minutes. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. We're here, we're out in the boat, we're on the water already now. Um, tides are dropping, so it was a bit rough coming over that reef this morning. Reese may have got a little bit scared, but he's all good, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. And we got over one right at the end. Um, anyway, we're ready now. The sun's just poking up behind me. So I'm gonna get the rods in the water and I'll see you when we catch fish. Get him up. Oh, Reese is on. Reese is on to a good fish. Get him up, the shark. Get him up. Reese is on to a good fish here. First fish of the morning is about a third drop. Let's just hope the sharks don't get me. Here, pump him up, boy. Get him up. Here he is. Oh, it's a big trout. Is it? Oh. Yeah, it's a monster trout. Yes, it's a monster trout. An absolute horse. <laughs> Have a go at this, people! This is the biggest trout I've ever seen. <gasps> that is a horse! Have a go at it! I actually can't believe this is my new PB. Ah, that's the PB we've seen. Look at the it size is. of it! Well, that I'm, is huge! He, like, on the way up, my drag is locked, I can't even pull it, and he was taking drag when I was just pumping him. I had to hold the reel. Yeah, we've got our drags locked. We can't even pull drag out of our lines. It's that hard. And I was like, man, Reese, you turn your drag down. Yeah. yeah, that is a good fish. Well done. Mum is going to be proud of you. Look at the size of this trout. All right, let's measure him. Yes. Have a go at it. <laughs> Absolute beautiful, beautiful fish they are. I thought it was red. Let's measure it. He is 70. Is Nearly 70. He's just shyer. 68 centimetres. 68 centimetre trout. PB. Look at that for a trout. I'll tell you, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit upset that I didn't catch this. But I'm going to get back in the water. Reese going to get these hooks out. And I'm going to get myself one. Really? I haven't seen one. Because he was pulling drag that tight. I was like, oh, please, sharks, don't come. Oh, that thing would be amazing, though. I think I've got a big trout too. Here he is. Another big oh, trout. Shane's going to be happy with us too today. 
I just had. This is the first drop after race. After race, dropped his. I'll tell you what, not as big, but that's still, still good slow. fun. That's only what we're keeping today. There's this job. Another beautiful coronation trout. Absolutely beautiful. Seven inch jerk shad in that gulp. I have had a bite every drop there has not been one drop without me getting a bite and it's just been getting the hooks to set i think we're on the mother load of trouts here he is an absolute pearl i'm happy i'm over the moon that's my pb trout let's measure him he's nothing on reese's he's 63 so i'm happy with that 63 anyway i'm gonna get a couple quick snaps with this guy Show you guys the seven inch jerk shad 5.8 with a 5.0 jig head. Slammed it. What a beautiful, beautiful specimen these fish are. Oh, it's still there, wasn't it? It's definitely calm. Oh. It's calm, I'll be alright. Seven inch jerk shad, dropping it forward with a 5.8 jig head. We're in 25 meters of water, so it still takes a bit to sink. I've got a pilcher covered seven inch jerk shad, and I will get eaten as soon as it touches the bottom. The beauty of using gulps. That's why I use, I love them. We're getting close now. Mm. You on? Reese is on. This is a good one. I'm on too. Oh, I lost him. Double hooker. Oh, mine. And we just got to pump into them because they're sharks. Here he is. Ooh. Oh, nice. nice. What's up? Here we go with this. Jerk oh, Show just fell out of his mouth. Little, little Emperor. Seven inch jerk shad just fell out of his mouth. He's not an emperor. I stuffed up when I said what he is. He's not an emperor. He's a red throat. This is a new species for me. Sorry about that, guys. Peter and Turner from New South Wales. Sometimes he gets his fish mixed up when he's in a different part of the country. Lost in the country, I am. But he's called a red throat. He's, they gotta be 28 here. I think he's 40, I just imagine him. Yeah, he's 40, so he's well over legal. Absolute pearl, another fish for the esky. Little red throat. Is it there? A kayak! No, it's a boat. It's just a small boat. Right, here we go, we're we'll dropping again. Here we go, it's Trouble is still at the bottom. So, what I do, and I know I'm getting close, I just start doing that. Feel the line taut. Go down and talk because all these fish want to eat it on the drop. None of them want to eat it unless it's dropping. So I'm just falling with it slowly. Really close to that bottom now. All right, I'm on the bottom. I just jig it up and down. I'm doing vertical jigs now, not casting. Grease is on. Doesn't look as big. It's getting heavier. Is this round mine off the bottom while he does this? What's he got? Oh, he's got a rock. Now I'm onto a real fish. We just gotta get into these fish. The shark's bad. 80 pound bay, 70 pound leader, and we're just pumping them. Here he is. Oh, nice big red throat. Whew. Another red throat. Going in the bag. That's Another a big one. In the bag. Absolute horse of a red throat. 
Hey everyone, how good is this fishing? We've literally, I'll tell you how long we've been out here for. We've been out here for 22 minutes. Really? I mark these spots, that's why you always, always keep your eye out. I mark these spots when we were out here trolling for Spanish the other day. I got about eight spots marked. While I'm sitting there bored trolling, I always need to be doing something. I get bored easy and I don't like doing nothing. So I mark all the spots as we go along. That's a good hump, that's a good hump. Load with fish. So today, we're only at spot one. We've got eight spots we can fish that are loaded like this one. So now it saves us time. Instead of, instead of coming out here, instead of coming out, looking around, going, where to go fish? We can just go straight to it. There he is, guys. Beautiful, beautiful red freight. They've only got to be... 28. What? 28 here. He's 47. So he's 47. I think he's 28. So he is well over legal. He's a proper red freight. So I'm not going to complain with that guy. Oh, I'm getting a bit buggy. This is awesome fun. All right. I'm going to get this guy on ice. I'm going to, cut... I'm going to get a couple of quick snaps of him. And then I'll get him on ice. I'll see you when I hook up again. Very rocky. If you've got seasick, I would highly recommend again fishing out here in a rooftopper because the old tummy goes, woo! Yes, it does. I just have my big iced coffee. And I'm feeling jiggling around in there. <laughs> Jeez, you're going to throw up soon. Oh, I just got whacked. He's got whacked instantly. Oh, oh yeah, get him up. <laughs> He whacked it, yeah, and I missed yeah. him, and then he come back and had another go. Here he is, Reese. Trout, I think. Another trout. Big? Oh, maybe let him go. Maybe let him go. Maybe, he's a bit small. He'd be a baby compared to... This guy here, beautiful coronation trout, would be legal. I'm measuring so he's no. He's 45, so he's legal. But when you catch at 60s, and we've got all day, we've only been there an hour. You only keep five. So I don't want to take this guy and fill up my bag on a little fish. So I'm going to run the gander and hope that we get our bag on a big trout. Hi. Hopefully, he can get back to the bottom. Go. Go, Trouty, go. Go, 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 and he's off. Sinking now, we've moved spots. Really? First drop in a new spot. This is a good fish too. Here comes Reese. Net. What have I got? Oh no, I got a spango. There's a spango. Reese is on. A good spango. Reese's got one. Okay, this is our first drops on this new spot. Reese has got um, a goat. They're What's called. A goat? Are they good eating? Yeah, they're meant to be. They eat them in Hawaii. I don't know much about these fish. I don't even know if it's the correct name here, but they call them goats in Hawaii. I used to watch a fair bit of beer fishing from Hawaii. Oh, Alright, sorry guys, sun's in my eyes, better than my eyes in the camera. We've moved spots, beautiful Spango, I just measured him, he's 50. Didn't measure my last one, my last one was bigger. These are beautiful eaten, um, we had him on wraps, the other guy. Spectacular. There is so many fish under us. It is absolutely loaded. As soon as we get to the bottom, mine went, I went hop, hop, on instantly. Reese dropped his down on. He got this goat thing. I, did, I can't find anything on it. I can't find it. I think they're called a goat. They eat them in America, uh, Hawaii. I used to watch 
guy in Hawaii who dived a lot, because I'm already my diving as well. And he used to get them and cook them and called them a goat. Uh, they're meant to be really good eating. That's legal, so we'll keep that guy as well. We'll try him. Never eaten one before, so I'll just try him now. I've seen a lot of them when I'm snorkeling. They're everywhere. They're beautiful fish. Anyway, that's a beautiful spanger. Love me spanger. They're such a beautiful fish. They live on the sandy patches between reefs usually. And I don't know, it's just one of those fish I really like. I think that they're a cool fish, something about them. They're just, they amaze me. All right, we're gonna get these guys on ice and we're gonna get a couple more fish. We decided this goat thing, don't know much about them. We don't really know the bag limits, the size limits here. And the last thing I wanna be doing is getting in trouble. So, see you buddy. He's off, it's his lucky day. If you don't know bag limits and size limits, we find it's best just to let the fish go. Nothing worse than getting a big fine and looking like a horrible person and keeping a fish that's undersized or that you're not allowed to keep. Right, we've moved again. Had another spot here, we'll see how we go. Yeah. That was straight away. He was little. Where's he gone? Good fish. Put. Good shellfish under us now. Oh, oh, you got a cod. Nice cod. Wow. That's my PB. Good job, mate. Reese's PB cod. Yeah, spotted cod. Alright, pop it in the esky. I was hoping that was a good trout. I'm lucky okay with the cod. I could not stop that fish. You couldn't stop him, I saw that. No! No! Damn it! Oh. Yeah, that was a big fish. Oh, right, so here we go. I just moved us back on the mark where I just lost that monster fish. Reese is calling a red. It was big, whatever it was. Yeah. Oh no. Uh -oh. I got Pelagics at mine. Do you? Yeah. Of some sort. They won't let it go to the bottom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Blame this On the floor. I just saw my mine start taking off. <laughs> this is a good fish, this one. Just gotta beat the sharks. Oh, it's a red throat. It's a cod, isn't it? Oh, it's a...